In this video, we're going to construct a table of common trigonometric values that you'll typically see on an exam. So the six common functions you need to be familiar with are sine theta, cosine theta, tangent, and then we have cosecant, which is the reciprocal of sine, and then secant theta, that's the reciprocal of cosine, and cotangent theta, which is the reciprocal of tangent. Now the angles you need to be familiar with are 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. So those are the angles in degrees. Now it's important to understand that pi is 180 degrees. So half of that, pi over 2, is 90. If you take 180 divided by 6, you get 30. So 30 is pi over 6. 180 over 4 is 45. So 45 is pi over 4. And 180 divided by 3 is 60. So this is also pi over 3. In case you're given the angle in radians. Now, for sine, here's a trick that can help you to remember these values. As you go from 0 to 90, it's going to be the square root of 0 over 4, I mean over 2 rather. This is going to be the square root of 1 over 2, the square root of 2 over 2, the square root of 3 over 2, and the square root of 4 over 2. Notice the pattern. The square root of 0 over 2 simplifies to 0. The square root of 1 is just 1. This you can't really simplify it. The square root of 4 is 2. 2 over 2 is 1. So that's for those of you who want a way to memorize, I mean, <laughs> memorize those numbers. So this is 0, 1 half, square root 2 over 2, square root 3 over 2, and sine 90 is 1. Now for cosine, the reverse is true. So as you go from 0 to 1, you're going to do so going in this direction. Cosine 90 is 0. Cosine 60 is 1 half. Cosine 45 is the square root of 2 over 2. Cosine pi over 6 is root 3 over 2. And cosine 0 is 1. These are the common reference angles that you want to be familiar with. These values will be the same in quadrants 2, 3, and 4. The only difference is the sign may change. For instance, sine, which is associated with the y values, sine is positive in quadrants 1 and 2. So if you have a graph, this is the x coordinate system, that's the y axis. This is quadrant 1, quadrant 2, 3, and 4. So the sine function is positive in quadrants 1 and 2 because y is above the x-axis, but it's negative in quadrants 3 and 4. Cosine is positive on the right side in quadrants 1 and 4. It's negative in quadrants 2 and 3. Tangent is positive whenever sine and cosine have the same sign. So tangent is positive in quadrants 1 and 3. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so whenever sine is positive, cosecant will be positive. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so whenever cosine is positive, secant is positive. And the same relationship exists between tangent and cotangent. Now, tangent is sine over cosine, y over x. So if we take, if we want to evaluate tangent of 0 degrees, it's going to be 0 over 1. 0 divided by 1 is 0. So tangent of 0 is 0. Now, for tangent 30, if we take 1 half and divide it by the square root of 3 over 2, the 2's will cancel, and we're going to get 1 over the square root of 3. Now, you could rationalize this. If you multiply the top and bottom by root 3, this is going to simplify 
to root 3 over 3. Now, tangent of 45. If you divide sine by cosine, these will cancel and you'll get 1. As for tangent 60, it's going to be root 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. The 2's will cancel and you're going to get the square root of 3 over 1, which is simply the square root of 3. Now for tangent 90, this is going to be 1 over 0. Whenever you have a 0 in the denominator of a fraction, it's going to be undefined. So we can put an x here or just simply write undefined. Now for cosecant, cosecant is 1 over sine, so cosecant 0 is going to be 1 over 0, which means that's going to be undefined. Cosecant of 30 degrees, that's the reciprocal of 1 over 2. So if you flip the fraction, you're going to get 2 over 1, which is simply 2. As for cosecant 45, if you were to flip the square root of 2 over 2, you get 2 over the square root of 2. And then if you were to rationalize it, this becomes 2 square root 2. Square root 2 times square root 2 is the square root of 4 which simplifies to 2, and these two cancels, so you just get the square root of 2. So that's cosecant 45, it's the square root of 2. Cosecant 60 is the reciprocal of that fraction, so it's 2 over the square root of 3. And if you were to rationalize it, this will simplify to 2 square root 3 over 3. Let me write that better. Next we have cosecant 90. That's 1 over 1, which is simply 1. Now for secant. Secant 0, that's going to be the reciprocal of cosine, so it's just going to be 1. Secant 30, the reciprocal of root 3 over 2, we're going to get the same answer we have here. We can write it as 2 over the square root of 3, or we can leave it as 2 square root 3 over 3. Now secant 45 is going to be the same as cosecant 45 because these two are the same. So it's simply going to be the square root of 2. Secant 60 is the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2. And secant 90, 1 over 0, that is going to be undefined. Now for cotangent. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So cotangent of 0 is going to be 1 over 0. That's undefined. Cotangent of 30 we don't want to find a reciprocal of this form. It's easier to find a reciprocal of this form, which is simply root 3 over 1, so that's just root 3. Cotangent of 45, 1 over 1 is 1. Cotangent of 60, we get 1 over the square root of 3, which is what we get here, root 3 over 3. And finally, cotangent of 90, so 1 over undefined, what is that? So we're going to get the answer a different way. Remember that tangent is sine over cosine. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, so cotangent is cosine over sine. So cosine over sine, 0 divided by 1 will give us 0. So that's cotangent of 90. So you may want to write this down in your notes if you have an exam coming up where you have to evaluate functions like sine, cosine, and tangent. You may want to commit this to memory because this will help you evaluate the other angles in different quadrants. By the way, for those of you who want to put this in practice, check out my trigon uh, trigonometry final exam review. I'm going to post a few links in the description, so feel free to look at that when you get a chance. Or you can go to the YouTube search bar and type in Trigonometry, Final Exam Review, Organic Chemistry Tutor. You should see it in the search results as well.